Hi, Catalina here from Lone Sense. Uh, today is October 11th. Um, it seems like a lot of juicy news gets released at the end of the week, and I'm releasing content and videos at the beginning of the week. But today's news uh, that just came out about the last day, less than a day, um, is the number of lawsuits. There's been six lawsuits filed against um, the Biden administration, the White House, the Department of Ed on the student loan forgiveness plan. Of course, um, these lawsuits are coming from conservative states and conservative think tanks. Um, and the first lawsuit that got filed was actually by an Indiana public servant who said that he's going to get his student debt uh, forgiven through the public service loan forgiveness and that he did not want Biden's extra relief because that would have um, state taxes come with it and that would in fact hurt him. So Biden um, administration respond by saying, fine, you don't have to file for forgiveness. It's all right. Um, and if people want forgiveness, they can file for it. Um, and it's making uh, the administration question automatic relief, which obviously would be easier for a lot of people. But this is why um, government programs and protocols become more and more complicated because we have to respond to people like this that are worried about the state taxation. No state taxation is going to be more than the 20 grand you're getting of forgiveness, right? So that's my response to that. But anyways, as a result, the Biden administration is um, delaying. They were supposed to release the application the end of last week into this week, early in October. And now they're delaying it to October 23rd because um, of all these lawsuits that are coming in. There's another lawsuit um, by the state of Missouri on behalf of Mohila the PSLF servicer, um, saying that by relieving and forgiving debt, um, Mohila is going to make less money and thereby the state of Missouri is going to get a less, less of a tax base. So that is um, their premise for their suit is we're going to be hurt by this forgiveness, therefore you shouldn't do it, right? Um, those are the types of lawsuits that are coming up right now. And as a result, the Biden administration is um, delaying the release of the application until October 23rd. So some of the news um, outlets uh, are stating, and I can go over some of what um, is being released right now, is so basically they push back the date because they want to allow the court some time to respond. Um, to respond to these lawsuits before they completely release the application. Um, huh. Anyways, um, at least five states now, I, I, I stated actually in another video, the states that are likely going to tax the student loan forgiveness, but um, it's having a lot of states think about what their protocol is going to be. Uh, so just want to put that out there. Um, the latest lawsuit filed by the U.S. District Court in Northern District of Texas against U.S. Education Department Secretary Miguel Cardona takes issue with how the plan was developed. It alleged the Biden administration violated the Administrative Procedures Act. Oh, notice and comment procedure. So that's basically the comment procedure where it allows the public to comment on any laws that are going to get passed um, before releasing it. And apparently Biden's student loan forgiveness violated that and is challenging its legal justification for the program. So essentially, okay, so, um, the Northern district of, um, Texas is suing the department of ed as well. And, um, instead of providing notice and seeking comments from the public, the department hammered out the critical details of the program in secret with an eye towards securing debt forgiveness in the time of the November election. So basically, this Northern District in Texas is saying you're just trying to roll out the program details super quickly so you can get favor for the midterm election and therefore it does, didn't um, wasn't subjected to the public scrutiny allowed in the public commenting period of the majority of laws, thereby it should not be permitted. That's their whole thesis of argument, right? Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. Um, and of course, there's all types of um, 
different lawsuits. Um, and it's similar, by the way, similar lawsuits that Biden, not, yeah, not Biden, I'm sorry, that Obama faced when he wanted to roll out the Affordable Care Act. He received very similar things, all these different lawsuits. It ended up ultimately getting passed. But um, of course, they made slight adjustments, which Biden has already made adjustments like not allowing FFEL borrowers by private servicers to apply. So um, I just wanted to mention that that took out about 7 million people. So they are already making adjustments to the program even ahead of launch. OK, um, obviously, there's estimates that say this program is going to cost 400 million. But um, a lot of uh, Democrats are saying that it's actually going to end up costing less because like with anything, not everybody applies. So if the whole pot of money to fund the program is 400 million and if only 50 percent of people apply, well, which is unfortunate because uh, I don't know about you, but I take advantage of this, then there's going to be money um, in a pot sitting there. But like every federal program, unless it's automatically sent out, kind of like the thousand dollar checks um, that that were funded during the, the pandemic, unless they're automatically sent out, then there's going to be money that sits there unclaimed. And that's likely what's going to happen with this program as well, because they are making people apply for it. They were going to give automatic relief to the 7 million people who already filed into income driven plans. But now they have to rethink that strategy because of lawsuits like the first one they received of people that want to opt out of forgiveness. So um, if you're interested in opting out, that's obviously a possibility. So I wanted to put that out there. So big news um, that's released. I'm sorry. I thought I would be able to announce the application release with this update, but it looks like it's going to be something like October 23rd. Hang in tight. Meanwhile, we only have 19 days left for you to apply for the Temporary Expanded Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. If you or anybody you know served for a nonprofit or government, you must apply for PSLF, Public Service Loan Forgiveness, by October 31st if you're going to qualify for the Temporary Expanded Relief. Please get that word out because it's more, it's a more lenient um, rules, which means if you made late payments or your payments are in deferment, they're going to count all those payments towards relief. So it's a really amazing opportunity. Do not let it pass by without applying. Wanted to put that out and also remind um, a little bit of a reminder. So anyways, uh, let us know about your questions. Comment below. We will try to answer them, of course. We try to answer everybody's questions. And um, share this with those that you think will be relevant. We are, of course, on standby at myloansense.com to help people um, answer their questions, build their strategies, and be able to pursue other financial goals by addressing their student loan debt. Let us know if you have questions. We are happy to help.